take a check on the two sides. And first of all, a strange-looking Everton side with so many injuries. But Bobby Mims, who in fact has been nursing an elbow injury, is in goal. The back four, Ian Marshall, a 20-year-old former apprentice, gets in because Derek Mountfield is injured. Paul Carr, who had such great seasons with Manchester City, wears the number three shirt. In the midfield, Kevin Langley, who came from Wigan in the summer for £120,000, but has played here in the Freight Rover Trophy for Wigan. And then up front, Adrian Heath and Graham Sharp. Up with Bruce Grobelar in goal. A back four that includes Barry Venison, the £200,000 buy from Sunderland in the summer. In the midfield, well, no Kenny Dalgleish to wear the number seven shirt. You'll notice that goes to Steve McMahon. Kevin McDonald also in the side. And up front, although the thought is that Johnston might well play in the midfield, they might well play five in the midfield and leave just Ian Rush up front. Oh, what a great move it is for Barry Venison, and what a great day for him as well. Here, the former Sunderland player at Wembley, again, as he was with Sunderland, and he's 22 years old today. So the Liverpool fans will be glad to see him, and they'll certainly be glad to see Ian Rush, who now knows he will spend this season with Liverpool. Instead of going to Italian football with Juventus, they have their two overseas players registered with them, Laudrup and Platini, and so Rush will stay with Liverpool this season. And now let's look for one or two of the unknown, or not so unknown, Everton faces. Here's one that's very well known up in Lancashire. Paul Power came here three times as skipper with uh, Manchester City. And look at that record, 428 League and Cup games for the City. 32 years old, and he gets his testimonial, incidentally, on Tuesday night at Main Road. Manchester City against Everton, would you believe? That's the number six, Kevin Langley, 22 years old, a boy from St Helens, who cost them £120,000 from Wigan. Six foot one, a big, strong lad in the midfield. And as the skippers toss up in the centre, the referee is Neil Midgley from Manchester. His linesman, Mr. Seville and Mr. Roost. Alan Hansen, the skipper of Liverpool. David Pleat, the new manager of Tottenham, is with me. David, as a manager, what would you be looking for here if you were Kenny Dalglish or Howard Kendall? Well, certainly if I was Howard Kendall today, it's a chance for particularly the two midfield players, Langley and Richardson, to try and uh, make some claims to the spot. Without the engine room of Bracewell and Reed, Everton will find it very difficult today. And if they can compete and stay with Liverpool, I would have thought that would be a very positive sign for Howard, particularly with the promising Langley just been brought into the ranks. Oh, yes. Big number five, Ian Marshall. Liverpool-born lad, 20 years old. Had just a handful of games, about 11, I think it was, last season uh, with Everton. Here at Wembley, General Motors FA Charity Shield. Everton in blue. Liverpool, of course, in red. That's a touch there by Heath straight away, but Bentley getting in, or rather it was McDonald getting in and getting it back to Grobelar. for Kevin McDonald for Liverpool. Ian Mulvey. Rush. Oh. And Mulvey flattened Ratcliffe there, and that could be trouble. So uncharacteristic there in the first place for Rush and Ratcliffe, it appeared. Uh, had the earlier dust-up, and they normally are the best of chums. Internationals, Bobby, I think, saying to referee Midgley, Well, if I knocked him over, I knocked him over with the shoulder. David, what do you see there? Yeah, he took a moment stop. It was a nasty challenge on uh, Rush by his uh, teammate in the Welsh team, Radcliffe, and then Mulvey overreacted. But I don't think there was any nasty intent with Mulvey.
Good break here by McMahon, and Liverpool are really on the move, but Marshall got back so quickly. It's a big lad, Marshall, but he looked very sharp on his feet for that super run of McMahon, a well-timed run when the Everton line were holding. McDonald taking a quick free kick, McMahon trying to play it in, and Everton trying to get it away, Johnston whacking it back in! And off the line by Kevin Sheedy. And Craig Johnston, who scored in the FA Cup final, very nearly repeated the dose here. Did exceptionally well to keep it down so low. There's Ratcliffe with that free kick for Everton towards Graham Sharp. And Hansen keeping his head, getting it back. The players, in fact, before the start, saying they were not too happy with the Wembley pitch. And in fairness, it's had a bit of activity on it this summer. With the American football, the Frank Bruno fight, and a couple of big pop concerts as well. Well, Stevens' header gets Heath on his way, but there's no problem there for Liverpool. Heath played that ball across the box, Sharp was the nearest one to it, and the nearest Everton player from midfield was about 40 yards away, Sheedy. It could be a problem for Everton. They'll have to push in and support Heath and Sharp. Nice touch on there. By Ian Rush to Craig Johnston. To the path of Ronnie Whelan, flicked in towards Rush again. throw to Liverpool, which Harry Venison will take. He was out of contract at Sunderland and wrote to every first division side at the Liverpool number two. Maybe a little to his surprise, the letter that fell on Kenny Dalglish's desk was the one that activated a move to the champions. try and work the ball across the field to get in a shooting position. Very rarely stick the high ball in to give the goalkeeper the advantage of his hands. You can see again the power that Liverpool are going to be this season when you just look through their substitutes bench. Kenny Dalglish, Gary Gillespie, Sammy Lee and John Walk. But at the moment, we're looking at Graham Sharp. And the reserve goalkeeper, Mike Cooper. And that's behind for the goalkeeper. Trevor Stephen. I think that was Stephen's first real touch of the ball. Seems hard to imagine that 23 was the youngest man in the England World Cup squad out in Mexico. I thought towards the end of the season he wasn't playing as well as he was earlier. Practice. 
Heath, a lovely turn. And a beautiful ball there. And well taken by Trevor Stephen. Here's a good break for Everton. And a great save by Grobelov. Well, a splendid piece of football there, created by Everton from inside their own half. Finishing with a Stephen shot, which Grobelov gets away. With a good save. Here's the corner, and that was easier for Big Bruce. Shaking off this ball until the long legs of Hansen get in there. Eglin quickly putting him into trouble. Langley trying to make something of it and gets a corner for Everton. So this is the best little spell that Everton have had, but the score at Wembley is still nil-nil with about 20 minutes gone. Kevin Sheedy with the corner. Getting to it, and it needed the header by Whelan onto the roof of the Liverpool net. And Bobola injured slightly there, it seems, as he went reaching and stretching for that ball. So Sheedy again. He's playing it back for Harper. Couldn't keep it in play, it'll be a goal kick. Langley right in there, and a good save by Grobelar again, this time from Heath. It's very difficult to get a clean header in the box against Sharp. He's all, all arms, and he was the one that made that chance. Straight forward. Direct from a free kick. Sheedy again with the corner. And Marshall right in there. Sharp in there too. And Grobelar helped away by Craig Johnston. Sheedy with a chance maybe to cross it in again. Being forced away by McDonald. All the in very hard indeed. Langley playing it very sensibly wide again for Trevor Stephen. Another good spell by Everton. Robinar's been forced to make two really excellent saves and is hobbling pretty badly at the moment. Paul Power putting on the pressure again. Heath. Richardson's pass will get there no. And I think Robola might need uh, a little bit of treatment. I don't think the bench are too impressed. No one seems to have made a move to the touchline. Perhaps I've seen Grobelar do that before. He certainly had a mad minute there. He's also made two excellent saves. They on, and he might have some more work here. No, Hansen was there quickly. As Sharp came in again. I think he's just signalled to the bench, and I think Roy Evans has just seen him. He's off. Yes, Grobelar. Andrew Sporting. Uh, Beard last night when I saw him in the hotel, but he was not sure whether he was going to carry it on to Wembley or not. But, uh, that angle we certainly can't see, but you know, I was saying to him, Are you looking forward to a new season? He said, Well, the flak will start flying tomorrow, I suppose. And uh, I think he probably meant in terms of criticism and so on, but with injuries as well, which all goalkeepers have to face. Well, what's the manager saying, Kenny Delbridge? Do you think? forward, Rush is off in pursuit, and Marshall again holding Rush at bay, showing a bit of pace of his own, and getting the ball away for the corner. We learn, and Venison. Half 
half-time whistle. So, that's the first 45 minutes by Everton. With so many injuries. But overall, as a spectacle, certainly a pretty disappointing 45 minutes as well. Two excellent saves by Bruce Grobola and not much else to be said for it. Liverpool then, now attacking the goal to our left, Bobby Mims for Everton. Whelan, a bit of space ahead of him as well. Radcliffe now trying to stop him, but Whelan's going on! And a goal kick given, although Morby and Whelan both claiming that Mims had got a touch and that it should have been a corner. It was a good effort, it was a rather pedestrian challenge by Radcliffe there. And it looked as though Mims might easily have uh, just tipped that one over. But a goal kick's been given. Morby, rush, quick interception that time by Marshall. And again, Whelan against Ratcliffe. Now Rush. Here's Venison linking up. And Johnston's header is wide, and it's a goal kick again. Five minutes in the second half gone, nil-nil. Paul and Everton in this charity shield. It's a lovely ball by Hanson for Whelan. And Craig Johnston coming in. on that ball but Rush has won it back again to no avail the whistle is gone it's a magnificent pass of Hansen's they're beginning to use the width a little bit more they never really got down the right in the first half Liverpool once or twice with Johnston Venison certainly never supported I'm sure they're going to try and use the width with hit diagonal balls across the face of the Everton back line Likely to win it in the air against Hansen, but he might get something here. And the cannon off Beglin. And Bobelar would have been unsighted. There wasn't a lot of power in the shot, to be fair. But it provides Everton for the corner. A little break again there by Heath. And Beglin's intervention was very important. She is corner. Rob last catch. Rob going off. And Hooper comes on. And Everton are also making a substitution. They're taking off Kevin Sheedy and putting on Neil Adams. And Kenny Dalglish about to make his entry with half an hour of this charity shield to go. And taking off Kevin McDonald. Ronnie Whelan immediately coming across to the left-hand side of midfield. Craig Johnson, I imagine, will operate down the right. And Kenny will go forward with Ian Rush. So here's a new threat for Everton. Apart from Dalglish's cleverness up front, Johnston settles better on the right side of midfield and I'm sure the unit is more effective and the team pattern is more efficient when they're playing in those positions. And here's Mulvey. Dalglish making a break away to the left. And Mulvey finding him with a delicate little ball there. Dalglish looking up. Rush is waiting. Mulvey's come up quickly. Whelan. Dalglish. And a little bit muddle-footed there, Everton, but in the end, the ball comes through to Trevor Stephen. Sharp. Oh. Heath didn't get a touch, but Adams now plays a sensible ball into him. 
Comes back again from Richardson to Adams. Power outside him. Heath once again. Now Volby. Delicate little touch by him from McMahon. Two against two now. As Liverpool come forward. Can Rush get his speed there behind him? He can! It's wide. Splendid break there by Liverpool, and Rush showing all the qualities of speed, but on that one occasion, not quite that hungry finishing. McMahon again at the centre, with a delightful ball play. Just look at the acceleration there from Rush. And wider than it looked from the angle that we were seeing it here. Dalglish. Rush. Dalglish. as though the script might have been written for him. But on that occasion, it wasn't to be a lovely touch on by Rush. Now, Gleish onto it, and it flicked off that post. Behind for the goalkeeper. Now, oh, this is better stuff now. On. Rush. But now, Gleish again. And that was easy. But the combination of Rush and Dal Gleish has opened up so many more possibilities for Liverpool and given this game a whole fresh look. Ronson's had it. A foul by him on Heath. And a free kick to Everton. A little respite for them. Just joined us, remember, nil nil and Everton without seven first-teamers. Now with Sheedy off the field as well, having been substituted. Open again, and Hooper quick to react. On for Robola. Putting it in again there. Sharp's head on. Oh, so, so impressed again by Graham Sharp. Oh, and now Wheeler. Bailey. Almost came through on a ricochet to rush. Hanson will get there before Heath. Finds Mulby. Hanson continues to run down the left flank. It's more of a decoy as Mulby is brought down by Langley and a free kick to Liverpool. Now Mulby behind it. Powerful free kick there. The wall needs to be properly built. last season for Jan Mulby, nine of them from the penalty spots. Benison playing it forward again, and Doug Leash. It has been noticeable this half that Liverpool have got the ball forward much quicker. They haven't played so much into passing in midfield before pushing it beyond the Everton back four. Benison. On. He's had an impressive game, hasn't he, McMahon? Yeah, he's a forceful player, he's a good competitor, he's strong in the challenge, made some very good runs in the first half. And he likes playing in the centre where he is now.
is a danger when a goalkeeper comes roaring out like that and uh, fly hacks against non-rushing forward that you're going to get a nasty bounce. And Mims came flying out as we can see Rush coming in. And that would have been very painful. Shot not knowing where it was, but Heath did! And again! Cooper can only uh, sit on the Wembley turf and reflect that really he had no chance. As Everton, having been cruelly, cruelly struck down with injuries and with a, such a weakened side, get the lead through Adrian Heath. Tremendous credit to Heath. And I couldn't, felt, couldn't help, help feeling that Heath came too far across. Could have stood up longer. Showed him too much of a goal. Now, Johnston. And is this makeshift Everton side going to pull off a famous victory? Bobby. Dalglish! Great save by Mims. That was a good save. So low and so quick. As Dalglish struck it. A little flick on there by Mulby. Powerfully struck by Dalglish, and well saved by Mims. So Adrian Heath, who just wanted that chance with the departure of Gary Lineker, has given the Everton fans plenty to cheer about now at Wembley. 1-0 to Everton. Inchi is back. Is the cry from the terraces, but Rush is back as well, but he's offside. Substitution for Everton as Paul Wilkinson comes on. Striker, got from Grimsby and Adams, who came on as a substitute, goes off. What about this one? Is he wearing a wig, Brian? Four for Sharp. This has gone again. There's been one or two balls that Lawrenson and Hansen in this half have lost in the air. The goal that he scored came as a result of Sharp challenging. And it seems to me maybe the Sun has played tricks a little bit with one or two high balls. Here's Beglin. as well by Liverpool. There's still plenty of football to be played. Dalglish on the far side, played in for Rush! There's plenty of football to be played indeed, and Liverpool have saved themselves again. They're on grab the crowd, they've got two goals. 
looks nice and he'll share it. That was a super ball in, and of course, Rush doesn't miss those. Neatly worked, clever little play, three clever touches, and a brilliant final ball by the manager. Wonderful pass. Well, a much better second half and a really exciting final flurry. We're playing time added on. That's how close Everton came to a really famous victory against all the odds. But in the end, you cannot deny the class of Dalglish and Rush. And it finishes 1 1. The General Motors FA Charity Shield. Everton 1, Liverpool 1. Adrian Heath, the number eight, having put this Everton side struck down so badly with injury and illness into the lead. And then right at the end, the man who scored 33 times last season gets off the mark again at the start of this season, Ian Rush. Well, that's, that's a super picture, Jeff. That's a great picture. I mean, that's what everybody wants to see, particularly from Liverpool, don't they? Yeah. Well, Howard Kendall is with Jim Rosenthal down there, so can we go down to you, Jim? Howard Kendall, a charity shield that caught fire right at the end, and I would think you bearing in mind the strength of team you had to put out here quite well satisfied. Yeah, very satisfied, really, Jim. I mean, we had a, a chance to make it 2-0. Kevin Langley had a very good chance when he was through. But Kenny Daglish came on and made a difference. Uh, we tired near the end, which is understandable. As a spectacle, though, perhaps until that last dramatic finish, not what everyone would have hoped for. Well, it's a pre-season game. I think that we were well satisfied with our performance. Some of our newcomers can take heart from a great performance today. And Adrian Heath, after all his troubles, I mean, it's a terrific moment for him, isn't it, to get the goal here? Should be, yeah. I'm delighted for him, and the fans will be delighted for him, because uh, naturally people are now thinking, well, Gary Lineker's departure, more pressure on Adrian, but he's up to it, no, no problems at all. Trevor Stevens got the Man of the Match award, I believe. Any one of those newcomers, those stand out particularly for you? Well, Paul Power, I mean, he's a tremendous professional. He always does a good job for you. Uh, Kevin Langley battled hard in midfield. I mean, these players are, are new to it. I mean, it, it, they'll be better for today. Good day for Merseyside and a good day for you. Thanks for great joining us so quickly. And a great result, really, isn't it? I mean, all the fans can go home happy again now. Right, cheers. Enjoyed it.